I was sitting with some high schoolers the other day and they were talking about some of their, their trials and some of their challenges. And I remembered a photo I had taken of this page and I started to read it to them. And as I read it, they said, will you please text that to me? Will you send that to me? Here's what it says, because I think this is what so many of us go through. Who am I really? What do you see in me that you would move heaven and earth to capture my heart? My life feels like a collection of other people's expectations and disappointments. I don't even know anymore who I truly am. Reveal to me my true identity, my true place in your story. Give me grace to hear your voice. Shut out all the other voices and let me hear from you alone. Everybody is going to try to tell you their expectations or thoughts about how you should live. And often those expectations counteract each other or counterdict each other. Anyway, um, some people will say, you are too strict a parent, you're not strict enough. You need more discipline. You're too disciplined. You work too much, you don't work enough. You exercise too little, you exercise too much. You talk about Jesus all the time, not enough. We will never please everybody. And that's why we have to follow what Galatians 1.10 says. It says, obviously, I'm not trying to be a people pleaser. If I was trying to please man, I couldn't truly be a servant of Christ. Yes, we are to seek out wise counsel, but in the end, it's all about what Jesus says. And he has left us his love letter to us, our instruction manual, and it's the Bible. And turn to that when you want to know your true identity and who you really are.